It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it. Thank everyone. Students, staff, community, and Mr. and Mrs. Tibble. This afternoon, the community of Air State High School comes together to remember and celebrate the Lord, our student, and our friend, Brianna Lee Tibble. Brianna was a student at Air State High School starting in 2011 in Year 8 and she continued her schooling here starting this year with her friends and classmates in Year 12. Over the years, Brianna developed as a student and a person and uh, around about Year 10 she had interest in becoming a preschool teacher or even a beautician. This year, Brianna gave her all from the quarry at the Swimming Carnival. And it seemed that she was involved in almost every event. She was up and down the pool all day and gave her all for the Mori Macquarie. At year 12 camp, she impressed all the staff with her strong leadership and tenacity. And she may have even intimidated a few boys with her aggression in the soft challenge on that day. Brianna loved her fashion and I remember clearly as she made her entrance to the students' ball last year. She looked absolutely outstanding and carried herself with a regal grace. I've spoken to many of Brianna's friends and teachers and they all commented that she was a lovely child and a great friend. Brianna's passing was sudden and when I heard the news I simply could not believe it. Brianna was too young for such a bright future ahead of her. Brianna's passing deeply affected a number of our students and staff here who had known and watched her grow over the years. All of us here will be forever grateful to have known Brianna. All the memories we have shared with her will forever be cherished and remembered. Brianna will forever live in our hearts. So it's at this moment, let's remember how Brianna touched our lives. This is not a moment for us to shed tears, but we should all be thankful that we were given a chance to name a girl named Brianna Lee. Thank you. Um, just like to say thank you for being here today. Yeah, Brianna was our daughter, is our daughter. She's a great kid. Um, she's the oldest of five. Always had a proud goal. Always tried to help others. Um, Brianna's goal in life was to be a special needs teacher because she believed that those children needed some extra special care. And she's going to be the person to give it to them. Um, Brianna, um, you know, she loved her modelling, loved going out, socialising with her friends. Um, yeah, she loved school, she loved her friends here. One thing, um, Brianna worked at McDonald's for a few years, uh, just outside of some kids to help with their weekend markets and everything like that. Uh, she was a brilliant worker and there was a lot of times I used to question her, I used to say, what, what do you do with your pay and things like that, you know, like, um, you know, she'd save X amount of dollars and then all of a sudden, you know, it'd be coming up to someone's birthday, you know, and then little did I realise, even before she started working, she'd sit there for days or hours and make things and always make sure she had something to give you, you know, she was, Beautiful girl. Miss Boyle, love Boyle. Miss Boyle, honey. Brianna was a one of one top girl. She didn't care what other people sort of thought about. And I think she, you know, want all of you to do the same. Don't take on the thoughts and stuff of others. Enjoy your life. You only get one chance at it. And, um, I know she's watching over each and every one of us. 
and she's helping us for a lot to get through this. And she's always there for us to talk to. Don't be afraid to have a chat to her every now and again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now's the time for any of uh, Brianna's friends or so fellow students if they would like to come forward. Um, Brianna, you're going to And we all love her here. She was beautiful, inside and out. Caring, talented, powerful, intelligent, and incredibly flexible. I wanted to see your gorgeous smile and wrap my arms around you, but now I can only hold you in my heart and see you through the eyes of memory. Thanks for these long, lifelong treasures. I'll miss you forever. I'll help you. Yeah. Audio. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, unveil the, the chair that's been uh, given in Brianna's memory. And uh, if we all come around the chairs and I'll get uh, some of the friends to unveil that. There's two chairs there. One has been worked on by some of her friends and decorated. And another one is a far So we'll come down the front and we'll unveil the chair. Thank you. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through Then I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place uh, How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you so kind, like, if there was ever a problem She'd be the first person to help you She was beautiful, like, inside and out She was so beautiful She tried to change herself a lot, but it didn't matter She had the biggest <laughs> If someone was crying, she would be the first person. The first person out of everyone. Her first says. reaction would be, who am I punching in yeah. the <laughs> It would be, let me help you. Like, on camp, best memory was when she did all her hair. Because in camp, we didn't have yeah. shampoo or conditioner or anything. So and here's we all Brianna. Look awful. <laughs> yeah, Brianna's yeah. just there, braiding away, targeting at your hair. We're like, yeah, that's fine, thanks. She feels still better. She was a friend. Like, a true friend. If you ever had any problem, she would support you through it. And it, it was just the best feeling knowing you had someone who you could rely on. To be honest, calling Brenna your friend is the most best thing that you can ever say about her. She was just, there's no way to describe her. In HP, she would always go do her best, like with Mr. Cotter. Mr. Cotter would push her and she would just keep going. Mr. Cotter. And Brianna, they were like tight. She'd do the best. She'd, I think she's better than the boys, to be honest. Yeah, she is. I think she scared them. Yeah, yeah. She, she was very outgoing, and her laugh was the best thing. 
You just don't it's like it. It, it just made your day so much better. It was, it was the best. She just had a beautiful smile. Best smile. Her funky hairstyles, her hair colours. I remember our English play we did with her. She was my lawyer. She had such confidence, like she did everything and anything. She could pull anything off, like her blue hair, her rainbow hair. Let's just say Brianna had that face, facial features where she could do any hairstyle, any hair color. She could just pull anything off. Yeah. About it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. When I see you again First you both go out your way in the vibe is filled